All right, guys, today's video is all about the Galaxy S Tab S7 Plus that I just got, and I've been putting it through its paces, and one of the features really, really stood out to me that some people talk about, but I don't think it's being talked about enough is how powerful this is compared to somebody who had an iPad before and how much I'm loving this feature right now. And I'm talking about Samsung Dex Mode. Um, and it's a big deal on a tablet. I understand that they're on phones, you know, uh, on my Galaxy S20 Ultra, it's on there as well. But I think it makes a major difference when you actually have it on a big screen like a tablet. I wouldn't, I, for me personally, on my phone, it's probably not something I'll be using that much because the screen's just too small for it. But on my tablet, it might end up being how I use my tablet majority of the time when I'm using it. And I want to go into why, you know, I think Dex is so cool and, and show off some of the features and what you can actually do in there and show some of the benefits uh, that you have in Dex mode as opposed to just using the tablet in normal form. form. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that now. So let's get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. All right, guys, so here we are with the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So before we get into Dex mode, I just want to show you the multitasking that you can currently do while sitting on the regular Android interface. So obviously you can come into here and you can kind of swipe and use the application side by side. So for example, I have this group set up here where I can open up Safari on one side, or it's not Safari, sorry, um, the web browser on one side and YouTube on the other, and you can use them independently of each other. You can even go back into here and swipe again and open up another application on top of it so you can open up the Messenger app and you can either put it directly in the center like this and now you have uh, one taking up your, your view here or what you could do if you click that little thing here is you can actually take this and kind of like put it in the box underneath and kind of quarter size it so now you have YouTube sitting at the top and then you have messages there at the bottom and then Chrome on the side. So three apps all together that can be open kind of side by side like this. And you can ma manipulate the sizes, of course, on making which side you want bigger and stuff like that. So the multitasking tasking while on Android is really cool because you can use all these applications at the same time. And on top of that, what's really cool is if you kind of swipe these away, if you wanted to, um, you can actually do something like this, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and back out to the main menu. If you open this up again, and you have Safari kind of open just sitting in the middle as a pop-up window, um, what you could do, and, and you can't manipulate this window, FYI, like you can't move it around to certain spots. It stays in the center of your view. Um, so I can't move this or drag this or do anything with it as far as manipulating the window to a different spot. But what you can do is if you click on this, you can actually make it into a bubble um, by doing this. And now you can move this bubble and put it kind of anywhere on the screen and continue to, you know, work on things and then eventually go back to that when you want to. Uh, it stays there on the front of your screen. And then when you want to go back to it, you kind of just open it up and there it is again. And you can do, you know, put it back into a pop-up. So all really cool stuff that Samsung has worked on to get, you know, multitasking working really well on here. And I definitely like it better than the iPad way that this handles multitasking uh, with this here uh, and all those th features I just showed you as opposed to the other way. But where we can take things up on the next level is Samsung Dex Mode. Now, Samsung Dex Mode has been around uh, for phones for a while. And on phones, I don't think it's as uh, nice to use. Like, I have it on my Note 20, but I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use it that much. Because on a phone that's that small, like, you know, it's not something that I'm going to be using that much. But on here, on a full-size tablet, if you open up the drop-down menu here, you can see Samsung, Samsung Dex Mode. And now when we open this up, you can see that you're not kind of like in a Windows type interface. And what happens is, is that now you have access to all these applications. And what I like here is like the taskbars at the bottom, obviously really close to being similar to, you know, how Windows is like. And if you come here at the bottom, you know, you can see your notifications. If there was any, they'd be right here at the bottom. Your, your settings would be down here. You can adjust your volume right here, take a screenshot right from here, all that kind of stuff. And then you have your icon sitting on your desktop that you can manipulate and put wherever you want just like a Windows desktop would be. Um, so all that is cool, but multitasking really takes its own form when you get into here. So you can see on the bottom, you can see all these different applications that are open, right? Uh, and you can see that if you click on here, even more of my applications are open. So let's say that I were to open YouTube here. You can see that YouTube opens up just like this, right? And you can come on here, you can see, you know, you, I can go to my channel and my channel will load up, all that other stuff, and you'll be sitting on here, right? Well. 
What's really cool that you couldn't do in the other in regular Android is that not only can you move this window around to wherever you want it to be, you can also manipulate the actual size. So if you come here towards the bottom and you hold and drag, you can make this whatever size you want. So now I can do this and now I can just come over here and, you know, play basically any video I want. Um, let's say I decided to, you know, play this video right now. You can see that that video is playing right now. I can move that to the corner. Let's say I wanted to leave it right here. All right, so that video continues playing. Now let's say I want to go to, um, let's see, Twitter. Uh, is Twitter open on here? Uh, it's not, but we can open up more apps by clicking down there and looking for the apps that I want. So if I open up Twitter, it actually memorized where I put Twitter last time and how I, I maximized it yesterday. So that's how I had Twitter last time. You can manipulate it and, and do whatever size you want and kind of put it there. And now I have that going. Now let's open up another one. Let's say that I want to open up, you know, the web. So I go ahead and open up, where is the internet on here? Um, does it not think I have the web browser open? All right, either way, we can go into here. We can open up the internet. And again, come here and manipulate the size to whatever size you want. So I got that going on right there. You can maximize it, minimize it right there through the window like you would on a Windows desktop. Video still playing, and then we can go into another one. Let's say I want to open up Instagram at this point. Uh, so now I have my Instagram opened, and you can see that now that's open on the side, and I can just kind of flip through this and you know use Instagram like I want to. And now Instagram is there. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of apps that don't let you resize. So Instagram is, the, as you can see, does not let you resize because it's it's stuck to that form factor. But I'd rather deal with this where you can have all these applications going on as opposed to the other method when you're in regular Android where Instagram takes up the full screen. So as you can see, you can do a lot of different things with this because now you can access all these applications and you can open up a bunch of different applications at the same time, be manipulating things, going through things, watching a video, and you can you know, have YouTube music playing in the background, all those different things opened up at the same time, manipulating all this stuff. And this is a very different thing than, than like I said, if you're not in dex mode, because again, if I turn this off and turn off dex mode and we go back to the regular Android interface now, And you can see my video is still playing because it's still going in the background. Um, you can see that if you're going through now, let's say I decided to open up um, Instagram on here. You can see for obvious reasons that you can't use it in landscape mode because it needs to be like this. Because obviously that is the way that it intends for this to actually be. Um, because that's how people take their videos. So you're not going to be able to use it in landscape mode. So it's not going to be as easy and intuitive to use. Even if you open it up like this and you were to do something like this. You can't even open Instagram through split screen mode, as you can see, where you can manipulate those three windows in regular Android. You can't open this up in split screen. Now, there is an app out there that I already have installed that kind of lets you do this anyway, even though Samsung doesn't let you because it doesn't really format correctly. So there, it's possible to still do it regardless uh, when you look out there for these different apps that you can do it with. But it's not as intuitive and it won't be as nice looking as that Samsung Dex mode um, that are on there. So... That is basically, guys, a quick overview of Samsung Dex Mode and why I think it's really, really powerful sitting on a tablet. Like I said, these comes on they come on phones and stuff. You can put them on your TV so you can use your phone as a mouse while you're scrolling through the TV and stuff. But where I think Samsung Dex Mode takes its own you know, feature set even to the more to high level, it's when you have a Samsung tablet like this. And even more so, when I get my uh, keyboard that I don't have yet because it's on back order, when I get my keyboard and being able to type in stuff and just have this propped up like this, it's going to be even even better for me, um, you know, to be able to use Samsung Dex mode like that. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on Samsung Dex. All right, guys, so that was the Samsung Dex mode feature on the Tab S7 Plus. Now, as you guys can tell, I'm really, really impressed with what Dex mode offers. Now, I understand that for people who are you using this tablet for strictly productivity only uh, all they want to do is like replace their laptop it may not be good enough for that I, i'm not taking this tablet and replacing my work laptop you know i work for a company that gives me a laptop separately so i'm not using this for that i'm using this for my own enjoyment for my own uh you know youtube uh life and, and working on videos and editing and social media and watching videos and stuff so it's my personal enjoyment it's got nothing to do with productivity but even leaving productivity to the side Samsung dex mode really is an awesome thing that the iPad doesn't offer you. 
You know, I can have like eight different windows open. I can have music playing and then have Twitter open on the side and Facebook open on the other side and TikTok going on the other side and, you know, open a Safari browser all on the same screen due to a large screen all in their little windows and I can kind of manipulate the windows and go back and forth. It's not as easy to do that on, on, on the iPad and this cool interface that you can obviously manipulate and resize windows. And what makes this beneficial on Android tablets is that even though I think Android tablets, from what I've noticed so far, every app that I've had to install on here has been pretty good for me. I'm not running into the issues that I did years ago where every app was unoptimized on here. But there are some apps on here that are still just blown up apps on the um, on a tablet. You know, GroupMe, but it's the same thing on the iPad, so I can't really fault them. But the GroupMe looks the same thing on an iPhone as it does on a tablet. There's no extra real estate. It's just blown up. Uh, things like Instagram, it's cool that we actually at least have an Android app that doesn't exist on the iPad, and we actually have one here. But it's still just a blown up phone app, but at least that one makes sense because... You're not going to be able to turn it landscape because everyone's videos that they take for Instagram is obviously, you know, in, in, in that portrait mode. Same thing with TikTok and stuff. Well, in this mode, you can actually have all those things open in their retrospective, you know, sizes and still be able to manipulate and do a bunch of things. So I think it's really cool that Dex mode exists and it's going to be a really cool feature that I use for, uh, a lot from here on out uh, with my Android tablet. And of course, it's true that you can do multitasking on the actual tablet that I showed off a little bit in the beginning that you can just open these apps into their own windows. But like I said, some of the apps don't like to be played with those three, those three, um, you know, ways that you're manipulating them. Like when you put Instagram and TikTok in there, it doesn't look as good uh, because you're messing around with the actual resolution and, and, you know, the form that it wants to be in. But when you have it in Dex mode, you can see you get a lot more flexibility and a lot more usability out of it. It's not just three apps you can have uh, on the screen, uh, you know, using them that way which is cool when you want to do multitasking with Android apps, don't get me wrong, but then when you go into Dex mode, um, you know, you have that flexibility to do it anymore. Now, it's, Dex mode isn't perfect. Uh, you know, there's a lot of little things that I'm not being able to copy and paste correctly on there. It, it could be a little annoying for people, but I'm really, really happy with it so far. And I'll be using it a lot but when I'm just, you know, watching videos and manipulating social media and going out there and just surfing the web and stuff. So, guys, that is my first look into Samsung Dex mode on this actual tablet really really impressed so far uh, my next couple of videos i'll be doing with this tablet is going to be the gaming side of it we're going to be looking at how xcloud looks on here how stadia looks on here and stuff so definitely stay tuned for those videos that'll be coming along later in this week if you guys have any questions as always leave them down below if not thank you guys for watching till next time tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming techie gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a brekkie is the gaming tech gaming techie is the gaming tech Gaming Techie